Hey everyone, it's Coach Matt over here at Primal Athlete Training Center, www.primalatc.com. You know, with the release of the new ebook, The Ultimate Off-Season Training Program for Throwers, we've been getting a lot of orders, so I wanted to first say thank you to everyone for checking it out. We've been getting a lot of great uh, feedback and responses from people who have been doing the training for the past three or four weeks. Uh, but one of the things that we get are a lot of questions. Now, over the course of the next couple of days, I'm going to be answering some of the questions that people have been asking about the book and about the training program without, of course, giving too much away. You know, the people that bought the book, we don't want them to, to think that we're giving away the, the, uh, the information for free. But one of the questions that we uh, get a lot and that I've been getting emailed from people a lot is they ask about producing power. Specifically, they ask about the Olympic lifts. Uh, Olympic lifts meaning the, the clean and press we get a lot of questions on, the power clean we get a lot of questions on, uh, and the snatch. Now, a lot of traditional uh, track coaches, a lot of throws coaches who have been around for a while, those have become some of the bread and butter lifts um, for their athletes. They teach them how to clean, they teach them how to clean and press, teach them how to power clean from right above the knee, and they teach them how to snatch. And that has become really their, their best lifts, lifts that they have and that they think translate best into the throwing events. And while that's true, you're not going to find those traditional um, power lifts, uh, I should say those traditional Olympic lifts in the new ebook. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Now, to some people, not having a power clean or not having a clean and press or cleaning the bar off the floor that sort of sacrilege. They're going to say, well, that should be in every thrower's program. But there's a few reasons why it's not included. The first reason, number one, has to deal with the length of time, the amount of time that it takes to properly teach an athlete how to do these movements. If you are working with a coach who is very skilled in these movements, you're going to find that it takes a few months to get really proficient at these exercises and at these movements and to really nail down the proper way to do that exercise. And that's something that when you're dealing with athletes during the preseason, you don't have a few months to nail that technique. You don't have a few months to get everything down pat. So for that reason, I don't include them in my program. There are things like dumbbell clean and press, dumbbell cleans, uh, both one arm and two arm and dumbbell snatches, one arm dumbbell snatches that are in this program that I use to produce power that I think are a lot easier to teach, a lot easier for the athlete to understand and they can get it like that and it's real simple for them and they still see a lot of the same results as doing a traditional clean or a traditional clean and press. You're still working the hips, you're still working that explosive movement, that power development, producing power into the ground. The other reason why it's not in there is because as instructed in the book, when you're working on your three main lifts, when you're working on the squat, when you're working on the bench press, and when you're working on the deadlift, which are the three main strength movements for the three days each week, you are instructed that you are to move that weight as quickly as you possibly can. Now, the first week of training, you're working with lighter percentages of your max, 40, 50, 60 percent, and that's a weight that you can move very quickly. Um, you can also, in the second week, you work with 45, 55, 65 percent for the first couple of sets, and the third week, you're working at uh, 50, 60, 70 percent, which are the first couple of sets. Those are more warm-up sets before you hit some of the heavier weight. Now those, the athlete is instructed to use uh, and move them as quickly as they possibly can. The reason for that is that also helps produce power. When you're taking a weight that is 50, 55%, 60%, 65%, somewhere in that range of your max, and you move that weight as quickly as you possibly can, just like with the traditional Olympic lifts, you are producing power you're adding speed in with your strength and you are producing that explosive power. So you do get a lot of explosive movement and explosive power in this book. It's not a traditional Olympic lift like a clean or a clean and press or a snatch. 
but you're still working on moving a medium weight, something in the 50 to 65 percent of your one rep max as quickly as you possibly can and as forcefully as you possibly can to create that power. So it's still in there. When you get the book and when you check it out, you're not going to see that stuff, but don't panic. You will still be producing a lot of speed and producing a lot of power. You're just going to be doing it using different exercises and different lifts. So we hope you guys check it out. If you have any questions, guys, we've been getting a lot of orders and a lot of feedback. And we've also been getting some questions. So if you have any questions on the new ebook, make sure you check it out. Um, make sure you take a look. It's going to help you get stronger. It's going to help you get more powerful. And it's going to help you become a better, a better thrower once the season rolls around. So we hope you check it out. And I hope I hear from you soon.